I never know when to start with these things because they take so long to come on. There we go. We're on, I think. I'm just looking at the numbers. Right. Welcome to my show um, tonight um, where I'm going to be discussing the importance of acceptance. And this is a big one for me because acceptance has always been one of the things that I've struggled with. And um, one of the things that's probably helped, well, I know it has, held me back from doing a lot of the things that I really want to do in life and, um, you know, creating things in life um, and building stuff. It certainly held me back on my journey as a coach. And uh, had it not been for um, having to struggle with acceptance, accepting myself particularly, um, I'd have probably been a lot further down the line than I am now in terms of my business. Um, you know, it took me... After I qualified as a professional coach back in 2019, it wasn't until 2021, the start of 2021, that I actually launched my business. And the reason being is because I had a lot of baggage that I had to unpack in terms of my own um, mental and emotional stuff that I had to deal with after being through prison and dealing with losses of family and things like that, which... Um, sort of held me back from actually setting up my own business and doing the things that I wanted to in terms of coaching and really moving forward in life. So really what I had to do in that situation is learn to become much more accepting. And when I say much more accepting, I don't just mean generally, I mean more of myself as well, because that was the main thing I found that was stopping me um, really playing full out, being who I wanted to be and creating the things that I wanted to. You see... I couldn't understand why at the time. <coughs> I do now, but I couldn't understand at the time why um, I kept self-sabotaging. You know, I, 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 was, I would be doing really well and then I'd do something really stupid, go out and get drunk or whatever and, and, and lower my own energy and go from feeling great to feeling crap uh, as a consequence. And that would then hold me back from doing things that I wanted to do in terms of my business and so on. There'll be other times when I would struggle with imposter syndrome. And that's something that's um, dogged me for, for a long time in terms of, you know, you, again, you start questioning yourself. You question your abilities. Um, you know, I'm not good enough. You start telling yourself, I'm not going to be able to do what I want. So you start holding your own, uh, you're holding yourself back from your own aspirations uh, because you feel that you're not worthy of them. And... Again, that comes down to accepting yourself because um, we we can get stuck in a mindset sometimes where we feel guilty, feel um, for the self blame perhaps of things that have gone wrong in the past. You know, we we look back at things that, that we may well we've done and uh, you know mistakes that we've made and, and and question ourselves and blame ourselves and that can lead to you um, feeling that way. So I could, I, you know, I could never feel comfortable with people being kind to me, giving me compliments, um, you know, awards, accolades, that sort of thing. I could, I never liked it. I hated it. You know, I got an award about a year ago and uh, it was really uncomfortable. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. And it was after then I realised that, you know, this is something I need to sort of address because, you know, it's not going to help me move forward. Uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't, because one of the key, the, the key core disciplines that I work with my clients with and teach my clients is acceptance. And if I wasn't doing it myself, then what sort of coach would I be? So mastering acceptance was key for me and it's key for my clients because until you do, um, you're never going to truly be playing full out in life. You're never going to really be creating the life that you really want. If you're living a life where you haven't accepted elements of yourself elements of your past, elements of other things and people and situations, you're always going to be held back. You're always going to be playing smaller than you want to be. You know, being completely non-judgmental is a pretty impossible thing to do. You know, we can, we can say we're non-judgmental, but the reality is we're all judgmental people. That's what human beings are. However, just by working on being non-judgmental, just be literally consciously working on that what you do is you raise your own consciousness and your energy and you 
improve every area of your life as a consequence of doing that. So <coughs> being non-judgmental is key to finding acceptance. And that includes not judging ourselves because it's easy to judge other people and situations but a lot of the time the main thing that we judge is ourselves you know we judge our past um our conditioning our experiences what we've done in our lives and everything that we've done and experienced in life leads up to today and what we feel and think and feel today and how that then influences what we want to achieve in life so it's important to at least try and be non-judgmental and to see things in a much more objective way when we're looking at um, things that have happened in the past. You know, because if you don't, um, we're going to just beat ourselves up about things that might have happened or the way we should have done things and so on. So however, not, in order to be fully accepting of yourself, um, others and situations as a whole, we really do need to become non-judgmental. So only then can you see that all experiences in life that we go through um, have value. So uh, it's, sim it's simply impossible to make a mistake, you see, because we, when we all learn and grow from situations, good, uh, good or bad, whichever way you want to coin it. Again, being non-judgmental, we don't look at things as good or bad. They just are. That's another thing that we all do. We always see things as good or bad, right or wrong. That's being judgmental. So it's not easy to stop doing that because we're human beings. But it's important to do that. So seeing things just as they are, without the judgment, without the good or bad um, label, um, the right or wrong label that we stick on everything. We judge everything as right or wrong, good or bad. So it's important to remove that label and see it with um, complete open eyes and objectivity so that we can then um, recognise what we learned from that situation how did that situation make us grow rather than seeing it as a negative as something that drain you know held us back as a mistake that we wish we hadn't done because had you not done that you wouldn't have grown in a different way so if we don't like some element of ourselves um and what we've done in the past or indeed something that has happened to us in the past it might be something that someone done to us we may become self-conscious and defensive about that that then lowers your energy and as a consequence you will then experience um, thoughts and feelings which are aligned with victimization conflict frustration anger all those sort of things like that and that lowers your energy and it's when you feel when your energy is low and you're experiencing feelings thoughts and feelings like that that's when we start feeling um, you know imposter syndrome that's when we start going out self-sabotaging you know, we'll go out and we'll start, you know, get on it or whatever and, and, and then wish we hadn't done it and completely mess things up. How many times have we done it? We all do it. It's human nature to do it. But it's equally human nature to be able to not do it and actually take control of your thinking so that you um, nip it at a bud. So that you don't do it in the first place. So that you're accepting of yourself so that... You, subconsciously you're not allowing your energy to drop in the first place by judging yourself so to so fully practice acceptance we have to remember not to take anything personally <clears throat> and what people say and do is always about them it's not about you it's all about them and you know remember pain is always inevitable in life it will be you're going to have bad things all through all through life but suffering is optional you choose whether you suffer or not Things don't happen to us. Um, they just happen. You know, it's easy to feel, you know, like a victim. It's easy to feel bad about things, but they, it, it's, it's not about you. It's, it's, it's about life. Things just happen. So don't take things personally. Whether it's someone saying something to you or something happening to you, do not take it personally. We create our own suffering in life. It's not history that creates um, uh, the future. It's us. So many of us make choices based on past experiences so we and, and past conditioning. Awareness um, gives you the, allows you to see past that past conditioning. Acceptance allows us to not only understand the past, but to not be limited by it and to see the meaning in it. So we can understand what something meant. At, at the time, it might have made no sense at all. 
you know we all go through really bad things i have but when you look back at where you what you learned how you grew and all of those sort of things from those situations it makes it a valuable experience even if it was hard and horrible and traumatic <clears throat> so we always do the best we can in any any given situation so instead of focusing your energy on the past and beating yourself up for things that you could have done differently um you know our mistakes in life the things that we wish we hadn't done understand that you did the best in that in that circumstance it might not be what you wanted to do but you did the best at the time in that circumstance and like i said everything has value you know it's impossible to make a mistake because even if we, even when we think we're making mistakes, we're still learning something from that. So focus on the lesson from that experience. How has it helped you? How has it helped you grow? What did you learn from it? That's what accepting a situation does. You can learn from it and you can move past any draining thoughts and emotions that lower your energy and keep you held back in life. So when you release all expectations... And attachments to a particular outcome um, or path in life we allow ourselves the ability to uh, firstly see and then take opportunities that's when you start moving forward in life when you're taking opportunities instead of focusing on the problem which is what we all do <laughs> so accept that everything happens as it's meant to everything is perfectly okay just as it is and when you accept that you can accept yourself and everything in your life and start taking control and moving forward and if you're interested in finding out how i can help you do that i'm working one-to-one -one with people i work in groups i work with teams of people in businesses and i also do seminars workshops and speaking events i'm doing a lot of them recently because my book's coming out soon. So I'm doing a lot of speaking events around my book. And if you're interested in finding out more about that, uh, drop me a line and I will tell you all about it. And again, if you're interested in hearing me, um, uh, booking me for a speaking event or anything like that, I'm, I'm open to them as well at the moment. So yeah, get in touch if you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching, speaking events, anything like that. And uh, I hope that's been helpful tonight. So um, have a good week and I will talk to you all next time. See you soon. Bye.